when there's something you're dreading in in real life, I think of that. I have it, it gives you this little. See, that's good. Too. It gives you this little mental touchstone that you're like, don't stop. You're gonna feel so good after. Just do it. And I I think about that. My nephew, um, who I'm like. Um, trying to help him uh in in all aspects of his life he's a he's you know young and dating in manhattan and nervous asking girls out and i he came in cold plunge and i was like this is how you use this analogy when you're nervous to walk up to the the woman and ask her out you know you just what you just do it you just you see how you didn't stop you got in the cold plunge and you and you did it and you, it, it, it was terrifying but you survived it and you feel good so i was like trying to be his mr miyagi on, yeah. on asking women out do you <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's a, that's a good analogy. Do you do that with everything in terms of fear? If you fear something, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do it. Do you, do you ever get that still when you get cast in something like go through the you know stages? People will say, I can't do it. I'm nervous. I don't know. And then you start to understand it and then get into it. Yeah, I think it's great when you're terrified of it. You do. Uh, oh yeah, I think. I mean, whenever I get it, whenever I get a big job or something meaning important to me, I'm I'm scared of it. I mean, when I'm about to go, I just you know I finished directing two episodes of Shrinking. They were big episodes, and you know, and I've directed a lot of TV at this point. I'm still scared. I'm still going, holy shit, these are big episodes. These are I gotta I gotta bring it. Yeah. And um, wow, Harrison Ford has this insane tough scene with so and so, and I gotta bring it. I I I always get nervous, but I but that's that's fun. I look forward to it. <sighs> That's great. I, I wouldn't say I look forward to it. I think it takes time for me to get a play. Like I want to do another play. It's been on my mind, and and uh, I read one that I really liked, and it was such a hard part. I was like, wow, if, if this happens and I get this, I'm gonna do this tough ass role eight times a week. But it's it's invigorating to me. How do you direct one episode of Ted Lasso and get nominated for an Emmy? <laughs> I mean, what the? F it's like you know, hey, I'm gonna direct a movie, and it's gonna be huge. I'm going to direct an episode of Ted Lasso and it's going to be an Emmy award. You know what I mean? It, it, that's, that's pretty, I mean, look, it's talent. It's not just luck, obviously it's skill, but it's like, but those are for that to happen. A lot has to happen. Um, uh, thank you. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I it's funny with Lasso happened. I, I didn't know that I had no idea that show was going to become the phenomenon it, I was dating Florence and I was in England and Bill was like, hey, since you're going to be over here, do you want to direct an episode of my new show? It's re really funny. You, know, it's about you said it yes immediately? Yeah, because I, I was, wasn't was doing anything and um, I was just hanging out. I think Florence was working on Black Widow or something and I and I was like, oh, this will be fun. I, 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 I'd only seen the Jason Sudeikis, um, I think they were ESPN ads? Was that what yeah, they were? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'd only seen... Or whatever they were an ad for. It was for it was for football. It was an NBC ad to get Americans to watch Premier League sports. There you go. I'd only seen those, and I yeah, obviously Sudeikis is hilarious, and I thought they were funny. Uh, and then I was like, okay, this will be cool. And then I, it really worked out. I mean, I, I I that episode, you know, the pilot of of Glasso has so much to set up. It really had a had a heavy lift. Uh, that episode two is really cool. It's the one about the biscuits for people who, mm -hmm. who remember that it was the one that really kind of introduced the audience to like, oh no, this show is also going to break your heart. Um, so that was cool. I got a, I got a, I got a really, I was, I was given a really good one. That's awesome.